Welcome back, 835. Thinking of going to the movies this weekend? Well, we've got a little something sexy, a little something scary. You talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. I just absolutely knew it. Because this guy's got a great sense of humor. Movie writer Mike Scott with NOLA.com. The Times Speaking Union joins us now with more. Good morning to you. <laughs> Always glad to be here. All you. right. We're talking about, obviously, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, which is really kind of surpassed a lot of expectations, although it had a lot of buildup, but right. it might get knocked out this week. Yeah, this is its third weekend in release, and actually yet last weekend in its second weekend release, it saw a precipitous decline in, in box office. It dropped off some 79%, which is a lot for a movie to, to drop from one mm -hmm. week to the next. Usually you expect about a 50% drop off. So I think all the all the curious people, all the fans saw it that first weekend and realized that it's not a very good movie <laughs> and have moved on. This week is its third weekend in release, and it's going to be knocked off. It's, 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 it's going to lose its box office crown to Focus, a New Orleans shot film starring Will Smith and Margot Robbie, who you may remember from The Wolf of Wall Street. That was okay. she had her breakout role in The Wolf of Wall Street. This is a it's a it's a caper romantic comedy directed by Glenn Facara and John Requa. Now these these are two up and coming guys. They directed I Love You, Philip Morris in town uh, a few years ago. They've also did Crazy Stupid Love a couple years ago, which is a great romantic comedy starring Steve Carell. And they they're the screenwriters for Bad Santa. So here okay. they're really starting to hit their own stride as directors, and they do it again. They deliver it again. Here's a, a movie full of surprises. Will Smith plays a con man who takes a beautiful young newcomer under his wing as his protege. Of course, they fall in love, and that's bad for business. When you're a con man, emotional connections are, are your mm -hmm. enemy. So as they go toward the, the big score of all scores, the, the tension ratchets up, and now you're wondering who's conning who, who's being conned. So it's, it's got some good surprises in it. It's fast moving, it's fun. This is a, it's, it's a good, and, and New Orleans is, is, uh, is prominently featured. About a third of the film is set here, so you get to see beautiful shots of the Superdome, of the French Quarter, of a Lucky Dog stand at one point. So uh, this, this is kind of the full package for, for local fans. There are some scenes there, you saw racing scenes that are set in Buenos Aires. They were actually shot, some of them uh, down here at the Avondale Motor Park. Uh, so yeah, so they, 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 they made the most out of their stay here in New Orleans a couple of years ago. Well, and that's always neat when you see local landmarks that you can identify yeah. with. And uh, man, to think that it was shot here mm -hmm. is, is really cool. He rebounded, by the way, you said. From yeah, yeah this, this is a rebound from After Earth. That was his big <laughs> box office failure that came out, like, I guess, last year. Very disappointing at the box office. He's back in form. This is the stylish, suave sure. Will Smith that, that we all they all love. Yeah. All yeah. right. Okay. And then the Lazarus Effect. The Lazarus Effect is not going to do quite as well. This is a horror thriller. It's kind of been on the shelf for a little while. Uh, one of the interesting things about this is it stars a New Orleans kid, Mark Duplass, one half of the Duplass brothers. He steps out from behind the camera and he acts in this one. And it's sort of a Frankenstein story. A group of medical school students uh, experiment with rising uh, or rising people from the dead. It succeeds, and of course, it does not go as planned. It's getting it's it's getting mixed to negative reviews at this point. Uh, it's being uh, derided as uh, it's very derivative. You know, it sounds like Flatliners, Frankenstein, Pet Cemetery, any number of films like that. Uh, and, and not really scary enough, although <laughs> the, the people do admit it, it's fast moving and it, you know, if, if you want just a quick sort of not, not really a smart thriller, this might be the one for you. Okay, but Focus is the one to see. This focus week. is the one to go see, All absolutely. Right. Might have to. <laughs> you Mike's, should, you Mike's should, I recommend it. it. As always, we appreciate it. Absolutely.